Hello, Western Studies. Here we go. Unit 2, vocab. Okay, your first word is affliction. It is a noun. It means something causing pain or suffering. Synonyms, disorder, disease, malady. You could probably guess that this is a negatively toned word. Um, you usually have it used in conjunction with uh, an illness or a sickness. You can have like an affliction of the body or an affliction of the mind. So remember in the homework, you have to come up with your own definition if you are doing um, uh, like the vocab square option, okay? So the definition here is something that causes pain or suffering, but make sure you come up with your own definition for that. Uh, sentence, a crippling affliction of the nervous system. He has a crippling affliction of the nervous system. Next word, adversary. It is a noun. The definition here is one's opponent in a contest, conflict, or dispute. Again, make sure you come up with your own definition for this if you are not doing option two or three on the vocab homework. Sentence, Davis beat his old adversary in the quarterfinals. Tone here is very negative. You wouldn't want to be known as someone's adversary. It usually has to do with competitions, like your opponent. Next word, anathema. Anathema is a noun. Something or someone that one vehemently dislikes. Um, it's like a, look at the sentence. Racial hatred was an anathema to her, an abomination, an outrage, an abhorrence. So it's like something you intensely dislike. Like not just a little bit, but you really, really dislike it. It would be an anathema to you. Adulation, it's a noun. Obsequious flattery, excessive admiration or praise. Again, make sure you come up with your own definition for this. Uh, he found it difficult to cope with the adulation of his fans. Adulation is usually a positively toned word. It has to do with um, like intense praise, almost like a like a superhero or a, like a rock star kind of thing, they would have, um, they would experience a lot of adulation for all of their great deeds or music. Adamant, it is a adjective. So it means uh, refusing to be persuaded or to change one's mind. He is adamant that he's not going to resign. So he's adamant about it. Like, I am adamant that I do not like strawberry ice cream. Like, I'm not changing it. You can't tell me it's good. I just don't like it. Adamant. Um, this is kind of a neutrally toned word because it, it really carries no weight to it. It just means a strong belief in something and you're not going to change their mind. Solace, this is a noun. Comfort or consolation in a time of distress or sadness. She sought solace in her religion. So it's comfort in like a very strong period of sadness. Like um, after a death, you would search for some solace. After, you wouldn't search for solace after like a boring movie. Okay, does that make sense? So solace usually is something you look for some some happiness, some comfort after like a very long period of sadness or a very intense period of sadness. Reparation. This is a noun. It's a thing. It means the making of amends for a wrong one has done by paying money to or otherwise helping those who have been wronged. The courts required a convicted offender to make financial reparation to his victim. So it's like a payback. It's making up for something that you did wrong. And it almost always has to do with money. The reparation is usually a reparation in terms of money. It doesn't always have to be, but usually reparation, if you're searching for it, it means you want money for a loss that you've um, incurred. Paragon. This is a noun. It's almost always a positive positive thing. A person or thing regarded as a perfect example or of a particular quality. It would have taken a paragon of virtue not to feel viciously jealous. So a person or thing viewed as a model or excellence. It's like the perfect example of someone like she's the paragon of dedicated, you know, cheerleader, for example. She's the paragon of the dedicated student. Again, it's the perfect example of something. 
Salient, this is an adjective. Most noticeable or important. This is a neutrally toned word. It succinctly covered all the salient points in the case. It most often has to do with um, ideas that are noticeable or important. Like you really wouldn't say like the salient house stood out in, on the road, you know, could because it was green. It's the salient ideas stood out in the case. The salient points stuck with her long after their conversation had ended. They are strong, noticeable ideas most often. Um, this can also be a noun, as you see here, so just be aware of that. Um, and it usually has to do with jumping or leaping, okay? So it comes in the form of an adjective or a noun. Pernicious. Pernicious is a very negatively toned word. Having a harmful effect, especially in a gradual or subtle way, um, is an adjective. The pernicious influence of the mass media can eat away at a person's self-esteem, for example. Um, pernicious is harmful, but like it says here, it's in a gradual, subtle way. It's like a slow, it's something that like slowly eats away at you. You'd consider it pernicious. Maneficent, it's an adjective. It's a gift or sum of money, larger or more generous than is usual or necessary. So uh, she was surprised by the maneficent gesture. It's like a maneficent gift or a maneficent gesture or a maneficent... Um, plans for the day. It's just like way over, way more giving than what you would have expected. If you would have expected it, it wouldn't be magnificent. Okay, this is if it wasn't really expected. Pretentious. Pretentious is an adjective. Um, I think most of you have probably heard this word before. It is definitely a negatively toned word. It usually has to do with people's behavior. People are normally known as pretentious. You wouldn't call like a dog pretentious. It means attempting to impress by giving great importance, talents, culture, etc., that is actually possessed. Like you, it's when a person kind of pretends they're better than they really are, and they're kind of like flaunting it. That's what being pretentious is. It's like a, a woman who wears way too much jewelry to try to pretend like she has a lot of money. It's a pretentious display of her wealth. Egregious. Egregious is an adjective. It means outstandingly bad or shocking. It's usually, and you can see here, egregious abuse of copyright. It's like way over what you would have expected. So an egregious error would get you fired. An egregious abuse would get you in a lot of trouble. Okay, so it's kind of like, like it says here, shockingly bad. Like they really went the extra mile here. Egregious behavior. Gauntlet. Gauntlet is a noun, and it means a stout glove um, with a long, loose wrist. It's like a thing that knights would put on their hand. So an armored glove worn by a medieval knight. However, gauntlet also means a, um, a difficult endeavor. So you can say, like, I really ran the gauntlet this morning, right? It was like a, a rough test. So it doesn't say that here, but be aware that it has two definitions. So hopefully you are actually listening to this. Stalwart. Uh, stalwart here, loyal, reliable, or hardworking. This is an adjective and a noun, so be aware of that. He remained a stalwart supporter of the cause, so reliable and hardworking. You could also use it as a noun. Somebody could be a stalwart, a loyal person. So hopefully you, your friends are stalwarts, and they display stalwart behavior. So noun and adjective. Restitution, noun. Did we do this one already? Uh, the restitution of something lost or stolen from its proper proper owner. Um, seeking the restitution of land taken from blacks under apartheid. Um, it's the return, handed back, surrender. So it's like giving back of something. Okay. Unwieldy. It is an adjective and it means difficult to carry or move because of its size, shape, or weight. The first mechanical clocks were large and unwieldy, so it's really big. It definitely, when it comes to holding it or carrying it or moving it from one place or another, you would use unwieldy to describe it. You wouldn't call, like, I don't know, a, a person unwieldy because you're not picking them up and moving them.
sepulchral of or relating to a tomb or internment. Uh, absolutely a negatively toned word. It means gloomy, dismal, okay? I think very, um, like, funeral, Halloween type of thing. Equitable. Adjective. It means fair or impartial. It almost always has to do with law or judgment of some kind. Definitely a positively toned word. You would definitely want an equitable judge presiding over your murder case, which hopefully you won't ever have. <laughs> and that is it. That is all. Um, make sure you do the homework, and um, I'll see you in class.